Good day. The goal of this video is to show you how to get started with a brand new H2 monitoring system. First, unbox everything and find this little guy. That's what we call the gateway. Plug it in the wall and find a location in the building where it makes sense. So if all the sensors in the bush are going to be in that direction, well, put it in this side of the building. Usually, by a window uh, will help you a little bit with the communication out there. Uh, also, keep in mind that the communication between the gateway and the tablet is about 30 feet Bluetooth. Uh, so if you want to have good communication in the building, keep that in mind. Now that it's up there, it's turned on, the antenna is up and it's plugged in, I need to add it in to my tablet. So find the SmartTrack app in your tablet. Once you're in, the three little dots on top, and then new node. We want to scan it right here in the blue section. And all you need to do is align on the sticker on the bar on the QR code. Now give it a name. So we can call that guy Shaq. Anyway, we're just going to have one of those. And then click the check mark on top. Now it's in my tablet. Uh, this one needs to be activated. It's the only one. And don't forget that step. So you click three seconds on it and then activate node and confirm. The app will reboot. Um, now, this is a cell phone, but it's the exact same as the tablet that is supplied with the system. Now that it's in my tablet, you can tell that it's activated because it's all colored up there. All the headers are all colored. Now, it's there. If I click on it, the mode is the economy by default. You want to put it in Fast Plus for the installation. That's going to make the light blink faster, makes it easier for the installation. The hub count, it's also in there, but the hub count, it's more about the signal strength. For the average system below 20 sensors, it does not need to be adjusted. But if you have more sensors or you want to travel a very long distance with the sensors, you might want to adjust, adjust that to 15, even 20. We're all good here in the building, so the next step would be to start go out there and deploy the, some sensors. Okay, we're now ready to start to deploy some sensors in a bush. But first, we gotta make sure that the sensors are communicating with the gateway. The gateway has been preset on channel one. The chat to change the channel of the gateway itself, it's in the tablet in, this, in the SmartTrack app, and it's in the CFG menu and it's called RF channel. So it's on channel one in our tablet, now, my sensors, now, to change the channel on them, it's, there's a video YouTube about it, so it's pretty straightforward. Now, to make sure they connect to each other before I leave the building, I just need to turn them on. So I'm going to turn this guy on. Pay attention to the bottom light. We just got one blink at the bottom light to, to confirm that we're on channel one. Um, the bottom light will do sequences of blinks like this at the bottom just to, just to tell us that it's searching. So when you see blinks at the bottom light, it's, it's to confirm that it's searching. It is not communicating. As soon as it's communicating with the gateway, we're going to see some blinks at the, the, on the on off button, like right now. And I'll put them together and look at the lights. They're blinking really together. They're synchronized. So that means they are already communicating together. There's a new solar... Um, sensors that we have now, it's the same, it's very, it's very the same. So I turn it on, and then it's going to do a sequence of starting. Pay attention at the light at the bottom. As soon as we get one blink, that means it's we're on channel one. If we would get five blinks, it means that we would be on channel five. So now it's starting again to try to communicate with the gateway, even with my other sensor right here, because they, they all communicate to each other and they're all compatible. So you can see they're now synchronized and blinking at the same time. The next step would be to go out there and look at the blinking light and try to understand what's going on. But the point is to get a, a, a blinking very constant. Uh, if, let's say if I keep going away from the gateway, eventually I will miss some blinks. So it's going to blink the very constant, but it, I'm going to get some, some interruption in my blinking and then it's going to start again. If you get to a point where you get five or six blinks in a row and then you get an interruption, it means you're a little too far. You have to come back. What we want for every sensor that you're going to put out there 
is, is to get about 20 blinks in a row with no interruption. So let's see right here, it's fine. I get no interruption whatsoever. So uh, it's the perfect location. Now you need to carry your tablet with you and you need to scan them on place. So on site, every single sensor to get the location uh, in the tablet, the correct location. So um, it's, it's good right now, I, I scan it. The, how to scan it, it was explained in the video uh, where we, uh, of the startup of the gateway. So it's scanned in, it's here, it's blinking fine. Now it's time to turn on a second sensor and look at the lights and wait until they blink synchronized. When, once it's done, that means they're communicating. So now I can keep going to the second destination and pay attention to the blinking lights and then so on and so on until I'm done with my installation. Uh, then you need to come back with the main build to the main building and with the tablet, the tablet is going to connect back to the gateway. You need to go back and click on the gateway itself in the tablet and change the mode to put it back on economy for the rest of the season.